Hello, if you are not new to the channel and you have watched my previous video about the wrist speaker microphone array, you might remember that I promised a few more videos related to that. And uh, this one will be about upgrading the firmware. As you will see, it can be a bit intimidating for some, so let me guide you through. First of all, whatever I'm showing here, like web pages and whatnot, will be linked in the description of this video. Anyway, let's start with this GitHub page. So this is the GitHub page of the Bree Speaker Microphone Array 2.0, but unfortunately, the name of the page doesn't really reflect this. I mean, okay, well, fortunate USB microphone array, whatnot. But point is, this is what we need. What you will see here is a nice documentation on how to download some Windows tools and how to install a driver, use this tool called Zadig for installing the driver and whatnot. But point is, don't even bother. I mean, I really, really tried and this whole thing didn't really work out for me. So the point is that you install a bunch of different software then install the driver and then expect to have finally your firmware updated. But no, you have to start messing around with Python. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like Python, but oh well, on Windows, that's not what I really expect. And guess what, the rather wiki page also suggests to skip Windows altogether when it comes to updating the firmware. So what my suggestion is that you should pick something Linux based like a Raspberry Pi or a PC, connect the rest speaker to that and then follow the instructions. It is possible that the instructions I provide here will be slightly different on your system or will not work at all, but yeah, in that case just use the commands and we will figure things out. On the other hand, on Linux it's quite easy, so all you need is Git and Python and you can easily install those via your usual package manager. So assuming you have Git, you just clone the repo, then uh, you will need some Python libraries. Uh, you can install them the usual real Python way like virtualenz and whatnot, or you can install them with a package manager like I did in case of uh, Raspbian. The extra decibel number added to the firmware means extra audio gain on the individual microphones. So 6 or 12, these are your options. And uh, also one firmware version, which I consider experimental, it basically uh, triples the sample rate from 16k to 48k, but um, according to some users on, on Reddit and forums and whatnot, this driver is not so accurate at uh, or firmware is not so accurate at detecting uh, and uh, removing noise. So try it and decide whether you want to use it or not. At the end of the video we're gonna try it anyway. Now with the new firmware let's make some audio tests. You can hear how it sounded before in the previous part of the video. Hey Cortana, what's up? Today in 1995, the US space shuttle Atlantis and the Russian space station Mir docked, forming the largest man-made satellite ever to orbit Earth. Okay, let's make a recording of the firmware upgrade. So music is playing and uh, I have a huge desktop fan in the background producing some artificial white noise. Let's record some audio with the speaker microray. So I'm about um, one meter away from the microphone and uh, no artificial background noise this time. I just want to check the audio quality. Okay, same audio test. So audio is running and I'm about one meter away. No additional noise this time. Again, I just want to check whether the echo cancellation works normally. So, here's the final test for the 48 kHz firmware. 
I'm standing almost three meters away. The desktop fan is running in the background and also loud music is playing. So let's see how this works out. So what's the conclusion here? Well, basically the wrist speaker microphone array is not really a new product. I mean, it's like two years old or something like that. But hey, the firmware is still being actively developed, which is a good thing. In fact, the 12 decibel gain extra firmware version wasn't even there on the GitHub repository when I bought my mic array. So what else can I say? Really, really good job, C Studio. I will keep experimenting because there's a lot of stuff you can do with the re-speaker microphone array. You can pro program the LEDs and stuff like that. And uh, you can do some stuff like voice analysis and whatnot. But I'm really a noob to that. <laughs> so not right now, probably later. We will see. Anyway, let's finish up this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.